Hey, what is going on guys? Um, so a few weeks ago in another video, I started possibly my biggest project I've ever done. Uh, my plan is to fly with jet engines and make a personal flying machine that's uh, portable enough to fit into a backpack. Now this has been a dream of mine ever since I was a kid, um, and I've already gathered most of the materials. Um, I was able to get my hands on a paraglider, and a company called Hobby King was nice enough to send me some really powerful jet engine ducted fans that put out around 8 kilograms of thrust each. So yeah, these things are monsters, and um, I think they should have enough power to propel me forward and allow me to fly with the help of the paraglider. And best of all, they're small, so they can fit in a backpack. However, the power they consume is not small at all. Each engine takes a 44 volt lipo, um, which I'm still working on getting. However, Hobby King also sent me some speed controllers for the motors, um, so that's one more part I do have now. Once again, thanks to Hobby King. You should definitely check them out in the description below. So I am making progress, and really the only thing I still need are the batteries. But enough talking. I'm going to go try and fly this paraglider off a small hill just to see if the thing works at all. Alright, let's head out to the site. Alright guys, so here's where things got interesting. My friend and I set it all up and it looked good. We were facing into the wind and right when it was perfect I pulled up on the risers and ran forward. The wind came up over my head and I started running down the hill. And suddenly my feet weren't touching the ground. It was so cool. Now I guess my friend had the camera set to picture mode for some reason, but uh, luckily there was this guy at the bottom of the hill who saw me, who whipped out his iPhone, and took this awesome video. So big shout out to him. But as it turns out, you do kind of need a clearing to land with this thing. Then there were a few trees at the bottom of the hill, and a fence also. And um, I really don't know how to fly this thing at all. Um, so check out this landing. I know, perfect 10, right? Don't worry, I didn't get hurt at all. So yeah, it was definitely a fun day, and I'm very thankful that I didn't get hurt. Um, now this goes without saying, but please don't ever try this at home. Um, before I do anything more with this, I'm definitely going to get some lessons with this thing, because watching one YouTube tutorial video on how to fly a paraglider while driving over to the site wasn't quite enough practice, as you can tell by the landing. So yeah, that's where I'm at with this build currently. Um, I know a lot of you guys were wanting an update. Now I have no idea what I'm going to finish this, or what other problems I'm going to encounter, but uh, hopefully this video will tide you over till then. And I'm going to make this work eventually guys, mark my words. Now once again, please don't try this, it is very dangerous, um, but other than that I hope you liked the video, um, definitely an exciting one. Um, if you did like it and you want to see more updates uh, with this jet engine project and a lot of other ones, click that subscribe button to be notified when I upload new videos. Um, give it a like if you did, and um, that's all I've got for today guys, so I will catch you in the next video. Peace.